Greetings and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our Let's Play Skyrim, The Elder Scrolls V. So, um, in the uh, Temple of Mara in Riften, which of the eight divines do you serve? They are devoted to the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love, that they might have a hint of eternity. Her blessings are made. Uh -huh. To love is to know the true nature of the goddess. So what I'm trying to do is the... Uh, thing called the book of love can hear the broad echoes is the uh, dawn. to receive the touch of mara you must quest we're trying to do hands in the world explore the facets of the infinite jewel uh-huh are you prepared then to help bring the light across this land yeah sure just tell me what to do the dawn surely opens upon you child you must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastrad. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. Great. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Okay, so the Book of Love, right? So we need to go to Iverstead. Where the hell is that? God, I bet I need to activate the quest. There we go. So let's just go straight there. Okay, let's have a look around. Oh yeah, there's definitely places to visit. And let's just finish up this quest though. Ah, there she is. Are you the one sent by Mara? Yes, what's troubling you? My parents are being impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. But I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards. And my father won't allow it. Uh huh. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. Great. There's not any help either. You sound a little confused. I don't want to choose. They're both so amazing. <sighs> oh. There's one. Your daughter asked me to speak to you. I'm sure I know what this is about. Yep. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Clement. Wouldn't stop talking about him. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. Uh-huh. It will pass. Why do you want her to stay so badly? There's not much left. Used to be a good sized town. The folks have been moving to Riften for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverson? You think she'll get over it? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. Needs some convincing. A little push, and this would all be simpler. Anything you can tell me about? Uh, okay, let me go talk to the other parent. So I guess we gotta talk to both parents. All right. Now here's a man I'm glad to see. Here. Honest pay or honest work. Your daughter asked me to speak with you. Oh my, probably something about the men. We all wish we had our problems. I don't tell my husband. But I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastred to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. Okay, what would inspire them to leave? Bassianus is still so terrified of Yolfthor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take Fastred to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Okay. Sure, wow. Well, now what do I gotta do? Oh, they're not that far, okay. 
like you there. You've been a thanks again for delivering those supplies to the Greybeards. I hear you lost Fastred. Oh, Fastred. I'm not sure what happened. One moment she's smiling at me, the next I can't even meet her eyes. I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. He understands women. Um, looks like there's uh, not much you can do. I guess not. Uh, really hope I end up not making a bad choice here. Okay, you. you don't look like Anything you, um, Why Batty said speak? to talk to you. Oh, my love. How I long to take her away from all of this. Why did Boaty send you to me? She said that you should, uh, elope. I always had a feeling she liked me. More than that brute Yoththor, at least. Yoththor. What about him? He'll come after us and... Patty said happens. she'll handle Yoththor. She if she's willing to deal with him, then everything would be all right. I'll... I'll go speak to Fastrid. Post haste. I told you to keep away from there. I'm sorry. I was curious. I didn't believe the stories. I won't go over there ever again. Um, you going outside, dude? All right, let's just follow him. We must leave. Your father will never approve of us, and I grow weary of this place. Where will we go? To rift in my pet. How you'll adore the city. And to be with you. I'll make the preparations immediately. Good to see you. Anything uh, you can tell me? Useful is around. Oh, okay, good. Return to uh, what's her name? So yeah, that's a quick little quest. Not too, not much to it. Okay, so let's go. Just gotta go back and finish this quest. Here we are. So I said. Nice, quick, short little uh, quest. Not too big. Lady Mara bids you welcome. I help the young lovers. How wonderful! Like the sea, their love roils and swells, but brings life and nourishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does more require more? I see, you are eager to carry the light. As you venture. Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Embers lie nestled. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo. Wait a minute. Acid and reclusive. Help him to emerge and state his intention. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Okay. So I guess we gotta help this guy out now. Okay. So we need to go to Cal's Mensa here. Yeah, it's been a while since we've spoken to him. I have things to study. What is it? Let's see. Um You are very good. Oh, what a t I was beginning yeah, to there we go. think that any help would come. Ah, uh, you see I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. Uh-huh. Do you know Feline? Ye yes. Do you know what a beauty she is? The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. You just need to have something to talk about. That's the trouble. I know Feline from the keep. But I have no idea what sorts of things she likes. It's not a simple matter. I could offend her fairly easily by bringing up the wrong subject. I've seen it happen before. Oh my god, is there anything that knows what she there likes? Ingvar. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type. But they've been friends for some time. Please, ask him what she likes. Oh it's my god. You look rather intimidating in that outfit. I wouldn't want to let Oops, wrong one. I thought I had an or whirlwind sprint up. Or I'll need to come over here. Okay, so we need to find this person. 
And here we are. All right, you. Bloody enough for you, outsider. Excuse me. Markarth, is it bloody enough for you? Oh, are you threatening if me? If I was threatening you, believe me, you'd know it. You outsiders never learn. If the four sworn don't get you, the guards will throw you in. Think that's water in the river? Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth, friend. What do you mean by blood and it's silver? Right in the name of the most powerful family in Markarth, the Silverbloods. They have a whole mine filled with prisoners to dig up silver ore, get smelted by workers they pay, and they own half the city. I work for them. The inn is named after them. When the guards make an arrest, okay. First. I heard you might know what the Faline likes. What? Why? Are you interested? No. It's not, uh, I'd rather not say. Uh, a secret admirer, eh? Don't worry, I won't tell a soul. As for what she might like, I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? Oh my god. Fine. Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just let Feline read it herself. Don't want you stumbling over the words and ruining my flow. God. Let's hear it. So, uh, as I said, I've never actually done this quest beyond too far. I think this is just dumb, the Book of Love. And... So now we gotta go through here and back up there. God. You've got to be kidding me. Am I delivering it? As his house, Carl. I have a poem. Pardon me? It's from Calcimento, please. I'm not sure what this is all about. This is lovely. Calcelmo wrote this? Yes. About me? Yes. I never knew he had such feeling in him. Oh, he really cares about you. Clearly. I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he. Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. Igman's father was killed by Forswoman. I won't rest until he Ugh. God damn love crap. No one likes love. No one! Now we gotta go and deliver this and then deliver that. God damn, I'm playing Cupid here. The artifacts I've discovered in the Shuanzel were excellent. I think you'll be thank you. Yeah, just get that out of the way now. Good use. Here this is more than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Please excuse me. <sighs> what? Oh, goodbye. Yeah, get on with it. And now we have to follow him. I really hope this last one isn't as bad. Already know I'm gonna be cutting out a good couple of minutes from this. Now, from what I read about this quest, if you are, have done the Imperial, not the Imperial, but the Stormcloaks and everything's been turned over to them, he will run all the way to solitude. Shh. It's all right. You don't need to say any more. I had no idea you were so nuanced. I love you. So I hear. Come here, you. And we'll let him be. Okay. That completes part two. And we just have one more part to do in this Book of Love quest, and we gotta go all the way back. 
and probably end up cutting more damn loading screens. All right, let's go ahead and let her know that we've done it. What is it you seek, my child? I've helped uh, Markov. The goddess smiles at your efforts, child. The dawn shines bright upon you. You have seen the young, fickle love of youth and helped a more seasoned love find its way. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore. For a strong love can withstand storms and even survive death. Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. What can you tell me? No, I don't want to know anymore. The dawn surely opens upon you. Put on the amulet of Mora. Peril. It's light that all may see. Okay. Now we gotta go and uh, do this quest. And it will be... Please let it be a place I've been to. Okay. What are you doing? I'm searching for my friend Rick. He was marching with you, cause men, who they say were wiped out here. I've turned over everybody, though, and I can't find him. Please help me look. He has a bright red beard and hair. Oh, my God. I don't see any bodies here. I don't have time for your foolishness. He must be here somewhere. God. I'm, I've turned yeah, yeah, yeah. That, the last battle was hundreds of years ago. Look at the bodies what around. bodies? the hell am I looking for? Oh, this better not be like on the other side of... God damn it. <gasps> Yo, this quest really pisses me off. I really hope that this uh, reward is really worth it. Alright, we're getting closer, I hope. The hell? Ah, crap. Alright, dragon. Yeah, get out of my way. Alright, we'll just wait for this for a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. The hell is that? Well, that's a mammoth, uh, or a giant's mammoth. Don't know where the owner is, but we will. And I hope this is it. Your wife is looking for you. Where is she? West in the plains, it's over the mountains. 
Joker elected to camp here for the night. I don't like it well. <sighs> Let me take you to Rookie. If she's come this far from home, it must be important. Lead on. I just need to report back to camp by sunrise. Dude, the war is long over. God. Now I gotta escort this man for this ghost. And... Alright, we just gotta... I think I'm about halfway there. Huh, there's the corpse. And there's a... whatever the hell that is. Ugh, come on already. And I am... Officially exhausted. <sighs> God damn it. Oh, what now? Didn't seem that long the first time I went through here. Okay, we're getting close. Yeah, there she is. Well, I'm here. We're together now, and we will be forever. Well, those two uh, managed to get back together in the afterlife, and now we are going to go back and finish this up. God, this was a long and annoying quest. There we go. All right, you. Lady Mara bids I you helped out the long dead efforts. lovers. Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. I trust by now you've achieved a higher comprehension of love. Not really. The blessings of Mara with you, so the rest of the province may shine with her glories. Agent of Mora added. Okay, so let's have a look at this uh, effect if I can. Oh my god, am I going to have like a minute freaking load time in the map as well? What the hell is going on here? <laughs>